Imagine coming across an email like this. It looks like it's coming from the official ESAT domain. ESAT, of course, is an antivirus or security solutions provider. It tells you that you're being targeted by a state-backed threat actor. And in order to protect yourself, you need to participate in the Advanced Threat Defense Program by ESAT. And here's your personal download link. Now, the scary part is some of these links do look kind of convincing and the kind of things that a government employee might fall for. So what happens when you go to the link? Well, you download this zip archive and inside it, you have all of these files that look like a legitimate antivirus setup. So you go ahead and extract them. And hey, look, you've got a setup.exe. It has the ESAT logo. But the moment you run it, it is going to wipe everything off of your system. Now, it doesn't do that here because it's designed to recognize when it's run in a virtual environment. But this is what a classic wiper looks like. Threats like this have been attacking Israel for a long time. Now, the catch here is that the actual DLL files are digitally signed by ESAT. So if we go back to our virtual machine and we try to inspect one of these files and we see hmm, what kind of digital signatures, look at that. This file has been digitally signed by the legitimate security provider. So there's no reason for anybody to think that this would be malware, but of course it is. Now, threats like this have been hitting Israel for a long time. This is what we call the classic wiper malware. Now, I've said before that most malware targeting users today does not do anything damaging to your computer. It's simply steals your data, hacks your social media accounts, stuff like that. But there is an exception. There are still quite a few wipers that will completely destroy all the data on a computer. This one, BB Wiper, named after, of course, Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel, has a Linux version that's going to clean up your servers. And this is a pretty popular threat vector. And this is also one of the major categories of malware that's out there, especially from nation states. So the Russians, for example, have also used wipers in Ukraine. The idea is you attack a bunch of systems, shut everything down so the infrastructure collapses. Then if we take a look at the malware itself, it's quite interesting. So we have got the report here from Malcor. Interestingly, risk breakdown is not that high, but it's very well packed file. It's got very high entropy. Now it does have a bunch of anti-debugging imports, but what I found most interesting going through all of the functions that it has in the import section was if you scroll down, you can see there's a check for is process feature present and this is to typically check for virtualization things like that and that can distinguish between if it's being run by a researcher in a test environment versus if it's being run in a real computer and that's what happened here so Kevin Beaumont on a physical PC was able to get this to work now he said of course have recognized this and they've sent out warnings here's the email in a different context of course their customers are the most likely victims because it's much more likely that you're going going to download and run a program that supposedly is from ESAT if you're already an ESAT customer. So if you're an ESAT customer, you look at an email like that, you think it's some official communication, so you might go ahead and run it. And of course, like I said, it is signed by ESAT. So there's no easy giveaway here, other than the fact that maybe you might be thinking, well, the setup is too small. But you have to understand a lot of the corporate tools are very different from the way the setups work for the home products. And some of those deployment tools are kind of like this with a minimal interface on the system. Now, those who did get it to run mentioned that it would reach out to a legitimate Israeli news site. Now, there have also been pro-Palestinian data wipers that have hit Israel and Israeli corporations. So I expect this to be more of a thing in the future as well. Wipers being deployed politically to destroy data, shut down infrastructure, being used as a tool of war. I hope that was interesting for you. I want to cover more of the nation state threats and things like that on this channel. Let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments below. Do like and share it if you enjoyed it. And a big thank you to Malcor for sponsoring this video and giving us access to their platform to get a full risk breakdown of every PEEXC or malware that we analyze. If you're a researcher who's just learning, looking for a tool that's reasonably priced that you can access, this might be worth checking out. So definitely give them a shot using the link in description or go to malcor.io. This is Leo. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, Stay informed, stay secure.